Welcome back. This is Andres from McNeil, Miami. We're going to look at a new component in Rhino 7. Gradient Hatch. This is where you find it under the Display tab. Open Dimensions and there you find it. So let's see how it works. Drag and drop a curve param and right click on it and select the close curve. Make sure it is close. Connect this to the boundary. Nest. I like to manipulate the axis from within Grasshopper. I like to rotate it manually because the gradient will upgrade in real time. So let me select my axis. Notice that you can select it manually and move it to the left, to the right. But I want to be able to rotate it from within Grasshopper. Connect the axis and there you have it. Change the colors. Color 1, let's make it almost white. And color 2, blue. And now you can see how the hatch, the gradient hatch, upgrades in real time. You can even, you can even turn on the control points on your shape and the hatch will upgrade in real time. Beautiful. Hope you like it and use it a lot. But wait, there is one more thing you should know about the gradient hatch. If you change the colors, if you change the colors, notice that I have one object on top of the other. You can, you can, and pay attention where I change this option. If you right click, if you right click on the second object, notice the alpha channel. The alpha channel can give you transparency. Oh yes, it can provide transparency to the gradient hatch. So there you go. One more time. Let me Right click, right click, and there is the alpha channel. 